Welcome back to Darksiders War Mastered Edition with me, Seshto, the Great Big Cactus. It's time for the shooting gallery. This is one of the sections that I'm not exactly too chuffed about. But we're here. And we're doing things and we're introduced to a new enemy. Quite the cool looking one actually. Oh, oh, oh. These combos are looking very similar now. <laughs> I know I said earlier... I was going to, you know, eventually switch up the combos, but it's looking, it's looking like a, it's looking like a false assumption still. <laughs> Activate stone skin just for good luck. Make use of those parries. Oh, come on. Let me, let me get the execution. Thank you. We still have our Chaos Form if things get too hairy, but I am trying to save it for the General. The General will eventually show up, and we're going to need some heavy hitting hard power to deal with him. Oh. Oh, I'm pretty sure I was blocking for most of that. Oh, fiddlesticks, I didn't mean to jump on, I didn't mean to dash, I just... Happened to be blocking and then I moved by accident. That's not good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Executed. With impunity. Come on down, little man. What a parry. Straight into chaos form. The red demon comes. I know we missed out on that execution. It would have been nice to have seen it, but survival takes priority I'm afraid ow that's not fun you can't take advantage of my my animation right that should be it yes yes it's the coward's way out <laughs> but I'm speed running I'm speedrunning, and I'm still getting the souls anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is my game, and I play it how I want. There we go. Speedrun strats. Speedrun strats. <laughs> it's such a viable strategy. Holy crap. That's great. Um, what's that way? I don't know. What's this way? I don't think so. Okay. Um, this way. Ooh, so we're blocked off. Okay. Now I definitely know we're in the shooting gallery section. And there is one artifact here that I do remember. So many times I've missed it. I've I've, I've regretted it so much. Because, like you saw, the area seals itself off. So how are you supposed to get through? You don't know. Do you know what? Disregard everything I've said. I might have just mucked this entirely up. I might have this completely wrong. <laughs> now this section, this section causes mad anxiety. So viewer discretion is advised. So the main thing is there's no chrono tablet here. So we're doing this completely off of real time. So what we have to do is we have to wait for the worm to be a far distance away so that we can move from platform to platform to platform. Hopefully I do this in one try. I don't fancy doing this again and again and again. So that seems to be far enough. And that's the next one. Oh man. That one's far. Okay. Look at that thing. Ay, ay, ay. Someone has been eating their Mario vitamin gummies. Can I make it? I think I can. It's 
coming, it's coming, it's coming. Whoa, that was too close for comfort. That was way too close for comfort. Way, way, way too close. I don't like that. I, I really don't. I really, really don't. Oh, this area is not good for the soul. It's actually quite, quite detrimental. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's not good. It's not good for me. It seems far enough away now. Come on. Oh, that thing was right next to my butt. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. How close? How close? Oh, yeah, dude, you've got, dude, you've got to be kidding me. But I think, I think we should have this. So it's gonna go around the back. As soon as it turns around. Now. Yeah, Shadow Glide, the initial beginning steps, and you should be golden. And that's it. Whoa, okay. That's it. My heart is beating. <laughs> the anxiety part is over. That, that, is, that is a devious thing to put. But don't worry, we will have our revenge later on. Just give it a second. Attack, attack, attack. So this is a very... This section specifically is very combat heavy. It's just going to be a lot of fighting. Um, and then shooting. And then eventually we enter the big area where most of the... Most of the events are going to happen. Oof. Stop it. Stop it. Execution, execution. Well, that's not bad. I do like the armors. More like a chitin sort of thing. An organic aspect. I can do that too. Now give me your gun. Give it. Give. That's very personal. That's a very personal kill animation. Right. So we take this. And now it's time to boogie. Fracture cannon. So this is like, um, how do I describe this? This is basically C4. You shoot, like so, and you explode. Very, very high AoE. Very good burst damage. And yeah, very nice. So we're just gonna do bop, 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 bop. Set them all off at once. And they did bring this back in Darksiders 2 for the Earth section. I think it's the same gun. So, yeah, this is this is kind of its origin story. And you can put the gun down at any time and just start fighting. But I think if it's if they've taken the time to put it here and make this whole section, then why not? Why not take advantage of it? And I don't think this one is as annoying as the Angel one. The Angel one was exceptionally, it was just exceptionally obnoxious. But this one's alright. I think. Don't hold me to that. We still haven't seen the entirety of it. But yeah, these things will blow by themselves as well. Even if, if you don't blow them, they will be like shadow bombs. I think that's the best way to describe it. It's a shadow bomb gun. Speedrun. Speedrun strats. You dig? <laughs> Come. <laughs> Come. <laughs> du -du 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 -du. <laughs> this is what I was thinking. They're, they're probably going to do more of this for Strife's game. 
maybe give him some like really heavy weaponry but maybe not maybe it's because like his whole gameplay will be around guns this might be overkill but i don't know darksiders games have been known to make questionable decisions the fov is really giving me <laughs> it's giving me a run for my money and i know it's self-imposed i could put this thing down anytime i want and i'm going to Dude, is that place not here? There's no way I've missed it. I swear it's in here. No, it's not. It's not here. Man, I'm com I'm confused. Okay, doesn't matter. I like this part though. Into the gladiatorial arena. Are you not entertained? What the hell is this? I'm supposed to be the horseman here. Shoot him, shoot face, shoot. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter, huh? What's the matter, huh? What's the ma oh, sh hold on. What's the matter? Come on, come on, come on. You didn't bring your bulletproof vest or something? What happened? You stunlocked or something? You may not like it. But this is what peak performance looks like. Oh, oh for God's sake. Screw it. Come it. Ah, back to square one. Back to square one. <laughs> there we go, we did it. We did it, we did it. Just as intended. Holy moly, did you see that bounce I did? That was cool. I'm gonna need um I'm gonna need a chest here. Just a quick quick bam. More horsemen. Dude, how come how come everybody has a horse except me? Ay ay ay. I'm just gonna quickly do this because I'm actually getting kind of dwarfed on. And I don't like that feeling. It's a very unsightly feeling. Ah, I killed the horse. My bad. I know the horses are inconsequential in this. Darksiders lore about the horses are actually quite, you know, interesting. They belong to the horse master. An ancient being who looks after the horses, he tends the horses and then once the horse is chosen by someone, it changes with them. They're initially all, um, I believe they are all initially white horses. Friendly fire? What? Oh right, it's a gladiatorial arena. They're just here to fight. Ooh. My bad, my bad, big dog. My bad. So yeah, they're all white horses, and then once they are claimed by someone, they become altered. Their appearance alters. So despair's the same. Uh, mayhem was the same. Rampage was the same. Ruin was the same. All white horses, I believe, and then they change according to their rider. So these horses that we're fighting against for these enemies are the same, I think. Because you can only get horses from one guy. The horse, the horse master. Yeah. And he looks like a cowboy too. I'll see if I can find a picture. Um, he's not like the most forefronted character in this series. So I'll see if I can find a picture, but otherwise, you know. 
take my word. He looks he looks slick, like slick Rick. An absolute Sam Elliott looking man. Bring on the next. I'm still hungry. Who's dangerous? Ooh, that was... I was scratching my nose. I do like... <laughs> I like how all the horsemen are just masters at comebacks. Except Fury. Fury kind of sucks with her comebacks. She's just cringy. But, like, war. Straight away. You can look me in the eye when I kill you. And death as well. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's, it's great. And Strife as well, you know. Strife's got his comebacks. So this guy's actually immune to bullets. Awesome. So he actually dealt with the riding phase quite quickly. Now it's the gladiatorial phase. My name is Maximus Decimus Iridius. Father to a murdered wife. Fuck me. Maybe it's because I got the words wrong. It's it's father to a murdered son. Husband to a murdered wife. I guess. I don't know. But damn, he tore me apart. He did. He really did. Activate stone skin. <laughs> you want to parry? I will parry everything. <laughs> you fool. I'm the parry king. You would want to uh, fight me, the great cactus? Oh, 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 sir, you are far too underpowered to fight me, the great cactus man. <laughs> there we go, it's done. Uh, you can look me in the eye. And now for the best part. So I actually don't know the story here. I don't know why Ruin was given to that demon. I don't know why he's so obsessed with him and why he like freaks out like this when, when, um, you know, he's dead. I don't know.
Sometimes the hero dies in the end. 